I want to just go over something very funny. Like, it was amazing, it was incredible. Let's imagine that someone says a slur during a stream. You know, being charitable, you know, oh, you know, maybe they just said a slur, you know, they just let it out by accident, they didn't really mean it, they're not really racist, right? But imagine that someone says a slur during a stream, and then justifies it by, like, coining, like, a really formal-sounding word to describe what they did, and, like, framing it as some sort of useful theoretical concept that can be employed like, like in order to achieve your political goals. So just look at this search term, okay? Just look at this search term. Invocation of a slur's power for good. This is a term, like, it sounds like something out of like a fucking academic article describing a new fucking social science theory. Or like, um, witchcraft sort of thing, like, you, you know, make a fucking pentagram and, and put the n-word in the middle. And like meditate or something to the fucking eight Praise ancient me witches to, Allah. to invoke the slur's power for good. But this is something that Vosh commented on a video when he like used the N word with the hard R to show neo Nazis that he wasn't afraid of using the words that they use. So let's just read it, right? In this video, I drop an N bomb. Big one. Hard R. I did this to show my intercolluders, interlocutors, stop using that fucking word, man, that that language doesn't impress me, that their slurs don't frighten or disarm me. You can see from their reactions that it worked. You can see they were clearly taken aback. It was a power move, of which I am entirely unashamed of. But I understand how that language might have ex upset some of you. This is an example of what I would call an invocation of a slur's power for good. But that's a subjective judgment. I invite you all to discuss this in the comments, critically or otherwise. The invocation of a slur's power for good. Like, I made a meme about this once that was like a pentagram with the n-word in the middle. The invocation of the n-word's power for good right there in the middle of the pentagram. I call upon you, ancient spirits. I call upon you, witches of the wild. I call upon you, Allah. Give me the power to invoke the N-word's power for good. Give me the strength. Give me the ancient spell. Give me the hidden technique. I need the forbidden magics. Please help me to invoke the N-word's power for good. Please help me. Please help me. The power of Christ compels you. N-word. Like, even if we're very charitable and just say that he's not being racist, like... The fact that he, he like doubled down on it and like tried to frame it like he had just invented some sort of new mode of activism, some sort of new theoretical concept, the invocation of a slur's power for good. And on top of that, that he named it like witches versus patriarchy sort of phrasing like, why I'm invoking the N-word's power for good. N-word, 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 ancient spirits give me power to fight the Nazis. Oh, it's just sublime. I love it. I give it a 10 out of 10. It's like, imagine, imagine Goku, right? He's doing a Kamehameha, but to get his ultimate power, Kamehameha, he has to say the N-word at the very end. It's like, Kame, Kame, N-word. That's Vosh. Vosh just invented like the new fucking anime ultimate ability attack. The invocation of the N-word's power for good. Absolutely masterful stuff there. You do a spirit bomb, but instead of blowing shit up, it hits its target, and everyone affected by it just uncontrollably starts saying the N-word. Incredible stuff. Like, it's, a, it's, it's like a magic fucking spell, man. It's amazing.